Carl and I are heading down to the creek bottom this morning. We're gonna get some soybeans planted down there. Carl got all of his corn planted down in there this last week. And uh, we'll take you along and he's gonna get the drill hooked up to that 2950 John Deere there, but he's gotta make sure it's got a little something to drink before we take it. That's one thing uh, with these old tractors, you probably gotta make sure that everything's kosher. Never imagined being able to go into that creek bottom with a two-wheel drive tractor ever, but this is the year you can do it. I'll show you some of the different. He's got a bunch of variety of soybeans from Seedway here. There's four or five different types that we're gonna go ahead and mix it all together, and then we got the real, real-world soybeans from Daniel down at uh, Ravelin Hill Archery. Uh, they have all kinds of different food plot seed down there if you guys are interested and go check it out This is the uh, stuff you got to mix with the soybeans What's this stuff called Carl the inoculant? So We'll get the drill hooked up and get everything going and start drilling in some soybeans Looks like it probably could use some. Yeah. There's more. There's some everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us what you got here, Carl, already in the corn and stuff. Well, on that little section over there, we got 24 rows of corn, and we got some rye on the outside, sure. and then we got uh, an open piece in there. I, I was thinking I was gonna put beans, and then I got 24 rows, or I don't know if I have, I think I just have 12 rows of corn here. Then on the inside, I put beans, and I have 12 rows of corn on that outside, kind of make another strip, kind of to, just kind of hide it a little bit. You got it boxed in good with corn on that side, on the far side yep, too, so right? The far side facing us has 24 rows of corn. And then on the very up uh, top of the field, closest to where they're gonna put green beans, there's gonna be, there's uh, 24 rows of corn up there also, kind of as a screen. So I think we're gonna put one one brand of beans here and there and then we're going to plant a strip of beans over there too and then so the back side and everything in between all those little trees will be brassica i yeah. think that'll be sweet yeah because we'll get this out of brassica we haven't had we've had that in brassica for four, what, four, four or five years four yeah. or five years and this one of the first year brassica here but one of the issues that Carl had last year with this was all brassica out here and there'd be deer that would pile into this brassica if you guys are watching you've seen that they'd get nervous there's horses and uh you know buggies running up and down the road over here and every time that would happen they'd get a little bit nervous and maybe run in and they'd come right back out but now with all that being boxed in and blocked off by standing corn they should be a lot more comfortable out here and they won't have to worry you know they're not going to visibly be able to see the horses or the cars or you know anything that's happening over there and i think they'll be a lot more comfortable seems like when you box deer in and make a lot more cover in small areas where their food is they're just more comfortable and more apt to to be out there longer and not be as skittish so well. got a lot of work to do here carl <laughs> yeah i don't know which one do you think we should do first I mean, you, what do you think? Beans or clover? Over there? Yeah. I think we ought to do it beans. Okay. We got enough beans. We got plenty of beans. Let's do, do you think we should start with the beans over there and then that's, just work our way across? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to drive this over there. Okay. So we don't put it in and have it out. Yep. I'm actually going to plant 
I'm gonna mix one row of beans in with the. That'll be interesting to see how that does. Yeah, I might even do that on that far side. Because you'd think it would still, being on the edge, it'd still get light in. Yeah. It's not like in the middle. Uh, we did that one year up behind Steven's. I don't know what, it was the corn was phenomenal. Because the corn, the corn sucks the nitrogen from the beans. That the beans are putting in the ground, so the corn sucks They feed out. each other. Yeah. Well, uh, Save these for, for the back side. Yeah. So these have to be mixed together, right? Yeah, what we're going to do is we'll open one bag and we'll just pour it down through and then we'll just. Stuff they coat the beans with isn't good to get on your fingers or anything, is it? I don't lick it. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you, I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah. I always will usually wear gloves. left for those two guys so that's a plus if 
five varieties in one pass. Yep. Turn the on X on. Do your track? Yep. Right? Yeah. That'll be cool. Well, we've got all the soybeans planted and rolled and now we're gonna do some about an acre of sugar beets there's one rock in the whole creek bottom and you picked it up <laughs> <laughs> yeah. these are the sugar beets that we're planting right here Yep. Well, those are little buggers, ain't they? Yeah. <laughs> My lungs are full of dust. <laughs> no. You got that one. I don't know. You put one whole bag in each. Yeah. Yep. 12 pounds of the is what they recommend. This is 12 pounds. Got that cedar set on like 10, 9, 10 ish right there. The right.
How's it looking in there? Not too bad. No. I think we're gonna be about right. Yeah. Yeah, looks like it's Yeah. No. Looking good. Well, that's a wrap on all the spring planting on uh, Crick Bottom on Carl's down here. We got corn, soybeans, and sugar beets all in the ground. The rest is gonna be brass because, uh, you know, in, in late July, we'll get those in. But man, what a dusty mess it was out here. We need rain really bad here in Western New York. I know, uh, you know, other areas in the country have got more rain than they need, but we have been, this has been one of the driest springs I can ever remember, ever. I mean, there's areas you can go with tractors that you could never go before in my lifetime. Uh, it's just so dry. You know, I'm crossing my fingers for some rain here shortly, but we'll uh, get back after it come the end of July. A lot of empty seed bags and a lot of dust it means you got a lot of work done, or it should mean that at least. <laughs>